Hello and welcome. Uh, everyone, let me know if it seems like the stream is being jerky. I, it seems like it's being jerky. I don't know what's going on. I'm on a good connection. I don't know. Let me know if it looks like I'm moving like a robot. I don't know. It seems weird. Um, That's a pretty good robot impression. <laughs> looking like a robot. Uh, John <laughs> is just a still image tonight. He is completely motionless uh, because the location that he is currently at does not have a good enough upstream to be able to stream video, unfortunately. So that's a womp womp. But yeah. we're here and we are ready to celebrate, to close out the crazy anniversary. Oh, we sound fine. Yeah, the video is dropping frames. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Citizen. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, dangerous thunderstorm alert, current location. Dangerous thunderstorm alert has been issued for your current location. Yes, you just told me that. All right. Well, maybe that's why it's dropping frames. I don't know. But You could try just try turning that off for a second and see. Yeah. If so, then I can like pull up the Twitch video and just follow along. Yeah, like that's what I was saying is like I was wa I have the Twitch video going and it's being jerky, but the rest of the stuff seems fine. You seem like you can hear us and that's great. So, welcome everybody to Handelabra Live. It's around 7ish. It is Tuesday. So, we're playing some Handelabra Games games. Some Handelabra Handelabra Games games. Oh man, and they're even they're calling my home number to tell me about this emergency. There must be a really <laughs> crazy storm coming. Don't oh, die, Jeremy. Yeah. I mean, I'm in a pretty big building, so I think I'm probably going to be okay. Um, but yes, so One Deck Dungeon is one year old as of last Thursday. Well, okay, technically it's one year and one week old because it came out on Steam a week before it came out on tablets. We launched it on phone one year to the day after we launched it on tablets, which is one year and one week to the day after it launched on Steam. So it's about a year old is basically what I'm saying to you people. And in celebration, we launched it on phones, and wow, have people been downloading it on phone. I, I am not ashamed to tell you that we had sort of assumed we might sell two, maybe 2,500 copies of the core game uh, during this week-long anniversary sale, and we've already at least doubled that. As of this morning's report, which includes sales via the end of yesterday, we had already sold 5,000 200 copies of One Deck Dungeon, which means $5,200 raised for Code Liberation, which we could not be more excited about. Code Liberation is a great foundation uh, that is working really hard to close the gender gap in coding and STEM uh, by teaching uh, girls to code and women to code and bringing them, um, you know, basically bringing them back into the fold, whether they left because they didn't think it was for women or whether they were pushed out by men or whatever it was. They're trying to close that gap, and that is awesome, and we're totally on board for that. Uh, so if you want, you'll notice Nightbot is posting some things in here so you can uh, donate yourself to augment that $5,200 that we've already raised. We think there's actually a real chance we're going to actually get break 6000 before the sale ends. Um, it's going to end tomorrow midday on Steam, so like noon-ish Eastern time, and then it goes through the end of the day tomorrow, so like around midnight on the mobile stores. Um, tell your friends that One Deck Dungeon is discounted. Uh, the expansion is also discounted, and they get to to uh, help donate to a worthy cause. So that's good times right there. Um, what else is there to say? Uh, you can follow the company, Handelabra, H-A-N-D-E-L-A-B-R-A. -E Just search us, you'll find all of our things. Join our Discord, I'm sure Nightbot will be posting about that as well. I'm Jeremy, I'm here like every other week. You can follow me at Mr. J Handel, M-R-J-H-A-N-D-E-L. John is Migrant P. I already mentioned that he is at a place where his video is not showing, so you don't get to look at his smiling mug except in that picture where he's like toasting uh, with a beer. Right. So <laughs> my classy photo. Yes, exactly. <laughs> His artsy black and white photo. All right, so we are going to play some one deck dungeon. Uh, who do you want to be, John? Um, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Actually, my 
I don't know if it's actually the video. I think it's my computer. Even the, the game is being chuggy. I wonder, should I turn it? Hang on, let me turn this down and see. Because I've got it go, going at like almost at 4K. So let's, oops, no, let's turn it down. It's oh, a lot of resolution. That's a lot of Ks. Let's turn it down. All right, so we're down to 3,200. Maybe that'll work. I, I So I will also point out that um, my computer has gone through quite a number of changes over the last week. I've moved my Dropbox to a completely different location on a different drive. I've been switching things out, so that could be it. Like, I had to reset up a whole bunch of things before the stream tonight because, like, a bunch of links had been broken to various media files. Um, uh, yeah, it looks like maybe my computer's just not happy, but it is what it is. We're going to do what we can. Um, all right, so who do you want to be? Set up, you could just pull it over from the iPad. Yeah, I don't know that that would actually do any better, to be quite frank. I have, I'm have i literally running nothing but the things that, you know, well, let me. Let me it 100% does better on my computer. Is it? Yeah, it's a huge difference. Yeah, this is all set up for 16 by 9 right now, which means I would have to change oh, right. everything. So, all right. Here, I'm just, but just try turning off the Slack screen share. Oh, yeah, maybe that's oh, yeah. a thing. Let's try turning that off and see what happens. See oh, yeah, that's that totally did it. Uh, Slack's been changing how they do screen sharing, or they're going to. So I wonder if maybe that might be one of the reasons. So I'll just pull up the Twitch video, enter, and mute it, and then and like be lagged. That's fine. <laughs> well, we could try try uh, Skype because because Skype is uh, always going to be better, right? Sure, if you want. Let's see uh, if at least the Skype screen share will be a thing that's better. Um, pull up Skype. Or Discord. Do they have screen share? Yeah, we can do Skype first, though. All right, let's try that. All right, where's John? John. All right, do you want me to hang up on Slack? Well, I'm just gonna mute. What? Let's both mute, and then we'll call call on that, and we'll see. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anybody on the stream can actually hear the Skype yet. All right. Oh yeah, all right. So let's let me just see if this is yeah, this is already going better. All right. So let me Now I'm unmuted here. on Slack. All right. I'm going to unmute on Slack as well. And let me grab screen share, share an application window. Remember folks, don't try this at home. We're professionals. <laughs> this is what everybody tunes in for, right? All right. So can you see it in in uh Skype? I see it. Is it fast? Oh yeah, it's way better. Okay. Let me just double well, check on the Twitch live. Well, something then to ruin everything. Yeah. All right. Good. Good, good, good. Much better. All right. Who do you want to be? Um, I will be the hunter. The hunter. All right. Boom. And uh, I'm still pretty OG, so I'm going to go with... Probably the rogue. The rogue is just so good. I love I love her heroic feat. Um, I don't care if it's like a risk, but I'm a gambler. That's what I do. All right. And then who should we fight tonight? I don't know that I've fought the vile roots in a really long time. Sure. And that's only a two, so that's good. All right, so let's take a look at the vile roots. So this has got um, – we've got the sapling swarm on the first level. Add time – to consequences if any challenge box has more than three dice. Interesting. Crawling vines, cursed fog. So we've got a bunch of different things we got to cover. Let's flip it over. And uh, the corrupted tree has seven health that we got to get through. And we add poison to consequences if all of the um, skull boxes are covered. That's interesting. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I might have never played the corrupted tree actually. Now that I think about it. Oh, I'm hearing the thunder. <laughs> There's definitely a thing happening. All right, good. So we're going to do the Vile Roots with the Hunter and the Rogue. Uh, should we take a look at what we've got here? We've got Cure plus Aid. Uh, and do we want to mess with the deck at all? Yeah, the Forest deck is good. We can click through the potions, though, and see what you want. Yeah, Cure plus Antidote before you roll to resist poison and automatically succeed instead. Cure plus Fortune. Choose a value, reroll all your dice of that value. Cure plus rewind, discard the encounter card, ignore all consequences. Yeah, that's interesting, but I, I, I rarely take that one because like I almost always like I'll take the consequences just to get the loot. Right. And then we have healing. Uh, we might get poisoned a lot. We could try the antidote potion. Sure. All right. Cure plus antidote. Excellent. Why is my progression turned off? Turn that back on. 
And you can choose your focus and skill. Maybe you were doing screenshots with that direction. Yeah, that might have been it. Increase another of your dice by this dice value. Gain four of any type. Yeah, and that's at zero cost. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go with the zero cost increase one by one. And then, yes, Hunter's got Force Bolt or Precision or True Strike Ingenuity. Double Strike Inventiveness. Oh, I guess I've leveled her up pretty decently. Everyone has access to all the basic Oh, 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 right, the base ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about the basic. Yeah, so I've, I leveled her up to get the basic. All right, so do you have a, a choice? Uh, that one's good. Uh, what are my items on Hunter again? Oh, okay, yeah, magic skill isn't good. But I could take, I'll take the, the strength skill that gives me two dice. Uh, not that one. That one. Ooh, Double nice. strength. All right. And you could choose a different focus if you want, unless you only have healing. Oh, that's true. Depends on what skills you got in there. Gets your full up on healing and combat. Yeah, I'm going to take combat. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Here we go. Boom. Novice. Yes. All right. We're novices. <laughs> We're novices. All right. So let's take a look here. We're on the Vile Roots. We got the Sapling Swarm. Remember, add time consequences uh, if any challenge box has more than three dice. All right. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we got the Wisp. All right. So we've got a decent amount of agility, but not a lot of magic. This is not a good one for us. Yeah, this is not a good first door. Yeah, I would flee, and if we get a couple of magic items, we can come back. Yeah, we'll bravely run away. Rockworm! All right, so again, there's a lot of strength on the board and magic, which we're kind of not great on either one of those. I think we could probably muddle through, though. Yeah, I mean, I've got a decent number of, yeah, like fortitude here. Whoops. Yeah, reroll your strength dice and you have zero. <laughs> zero. That's great, right, yeah. And then I, ha I do have planning, so I get a three. I mean, if we do this one, we'll take a bunch of damage, but the reward is probably worth it. Yeah, we need some magic, and he and health is good, too. That's great. All right. Um, probably the rogue has more health. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I am going yeah, to roll definitely my thing. Roll, roll things. Uh, it was on a one the whole time. Nice. All right. This is going well. Uh, yeah, we can do that. And probably the big, I'd like, I don't think there's any way we're covering the magic one. Unless like. Yeah. I guess we have heroics. Throw it on the magic one. All right. And just roll real good. Uh, Probably this is better for the hunter because you don't have any skills that take dice, right? So, or I can I can yeah, you can increase, increase one of your dice by two. by two. But I already have a one on the field. <laughs> yeah, you already you already have dice, so whichever. But I think better for me because I could potentially put in a double strike. So, yeah. Look at those abilities. We can make heroics for those. So yeah, nice one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good rolls. Okay. Yeah. Super great. Um, okay, what do you think? Yeah, so take my her well, hang on, let's let's see. So I could get the six worth of strength with double strike. Um you have a free heroic three, right, in your other skill. Yep. I'll grab that. Um yeah, so basically I could spend an agility to increase one of your dice by two. Is that any dice or just the non heroic no it's anything so that's yeah. good uh yeah I'd, well if that's a three then I, let, three I can let you re-roll all your ones we could cover the magic box that's only in perils oh it's, yeah you're right okay. like uh if i increase one of your dice then we could cover the uh magic box we can also make heroic dice right like we have an, all these agility dice that um, are doing nothing for us. Um, are you? 
All right, wait, is there nobody is nobody hearing music? You should be hearing music. Hang on, give me a second. Is it on in the options of the game? I mean, I'm hearing the music, so okay. I have to make sure that they're hearing the music. Oh yeah, and that's actually, hang on here. What about now? Can you hear the music now? I think when I switched it, the music is very, very soft. Yeah, when I switched the um, the resolution, I think something got screwed up. Oh, wait, Take Walker says nope. All right, hang on, menu. Uh, options, turn it up a little bit. Negative. Oh, you know what? I know what's going on. Hang on, give me two seconds. Like I said, I changed a bunch of things, and so as a result, um, ODD audio add. What about now? <laughs> I like I created the new thing to capture the audio, but I never actually brought it into game show. So I think there it is. All right, music, huzzah! All right, excellent. Oh, and I can turn right. down some. <laughs> okay, I'll turn it down a bit. All right, so I think uh, if we take my agility one and increase your heroic three to a five, yep. And put that on the armor box, which is one of the problems we're having here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to cover that magic box. I would love to, but uh, take. Yeah, I mean, if you did this over here on the yeah. double strike, you'll be able to recover this. Tool. That's what I'm thinking. Take that in the double strike, and and then we get. I mean, but then may as well, we may as well put a one into it instead of the two, right? So put the oh, heroic yeah. one because I can just make a heroic two better, and then fill those fill that twelve up, and then uh, fill up the magic one. I think we should have enough with the. Uh, with your hero, with your with yours to make heroics, maybe not. Is it not enough? Maybe not. So this we'll is four. Yeah, there's four and two is eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's enough. Or just we need eight, I guess, anyways. Or six. No, we actually we need we have exactly eight, which is what we need. So not not too bad. One health and. Two time, I'll take it. Why don't you just put the magic in the magic box? Oh, I don't know. Okay, whatever, do what you want. I'm sorry, this is how the math worked out in my mind. I guess I wasn't looking at it right. But we got there. All right, so one yep. and three. And we're yep. gonna take an extra time because this has got more than three in it. But... Oh, is that, oh, that's from the vile roots? Yeah. Sure, that's fine. Um... Uh, this can go to yeah, we're both at the same point right now. I have Hunter, the, I guess. I have the poison, though. Hmm? Yeah. You did. Like, it doesn't matter who it goes to. Okay. All right. So we need this magic and some health. Probably makes sense to send this to the hunter, right? Or should we um, focus the magic on the rogue? Yeah, the rogue already has one, so I'd put it on the rogue. All right. Right now, the hunter is set up to try to focus on strength. Howl with a knoll. You cannot place um, heroics on dungeon challenge boxes. So this 10 cannot get This heroics. is where we're actually set up to be good at. Yeah. <laughs> what are we thinking uh, yeah. about taking on this one? Uh, probably the item. All right. I like having more dice. The item on the hunter. All right, so we've got two, three... We probably want to use at least one of them. Yeah, I'm gonna gamble because I like to gamble. All right. And maybe we should do that. Yeah, for one time, just cover the armor agility box. All right. And again. And that's you. again. Yeah, the hunter right now should be rolling these. Um, except, yeah, actually, all the time. <laughs> 
pretty much, unless there's a specific reason. All right, so I'm thinking three yeah, so you can, that. Well, I can make the I can make threes easily. You oh, need, right, you right, get right. A, yeah, you yeah. Get a her, use your her, get your free heroic one. There's no point, no reason not to. We should get you a couple strength dice because you have the focus that lets you reroll <laughs> that you'll never use. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that covers that. This covers this. Yeah, we can probably just cover most yeah, of the boxes. Yeah, it looks like there's, we pretty much got it. The strength, though, right? That's the tricky part. So we have a big 10 box that we want to fill up. So Unless... Wait, can I do... We want to use flank, though, so most likely. Right. So I don't necessarily want to put... Well, I also don't want to put, like, waste two strength in there. Um, yeah, I mean, we can flank this and turn this, maybe this two into a three. It's plus two. Oh, I'm sorry. This two into a four. And then we can combine our dice to make a heroic, right? Yep. So then we could like take this. Um, yeah. No, so you sorry, can you could use this put to get two six. ones. I and mean, we can always re rewind all this. So you could make a heroic one and put that in to double strike, which is like one better. The problem is that we don't have a die for flank anymore. Oh right. Yes, yeah, so that's why I was thinking like this two going into double strike might be the better choice. Yeah. The pro I think the thing is though, like we have like enough for agility anyways. Let's see what we got with this. So let's try yeah, putting so let's a three into there, into armor. Just like, we can cover the big 10 box, and then can we just cover the seven? Yeah, we can just cover the seven. So, yeah. cover, no, you need to use the yellow ones. Oh, right, these, ones these don't work over there. Right, right. Yeah, so that's why I said cover the 10 box. And then we do this. this. Yes, yeah. and then just make, then you're done. There you go. Awesome. All right, and strength to the hunter? I think to the rogue, so you ha can use it for fortitude. Oh, right? sure, okay. Still not enough to take on this wisp, I don't think. Ooh, the other rock worm. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that would be good for the hunter. Then you'll yeah, you always have something for that flank. Skills good too. Prevent oh yeah, look at that. And a, and a poison. Uh, but I'd probably take the item anyways. Yeah. Uh, Any item yep. of health. We can go after this. We're better at strength and magic since last time. Uh, you can give the poison, sure, to the hunter. We'll even up. And we probably want to use our things unless you're afraid. Never. Yeah! There you That's go. talking about. All right. Put this in the magic box again. <laughs> <laughs> so should we, do we use? need to use yours? Oh, yeah. You said use it. Put it in the magic box. Okay. Yeah. All right. So put that there. And we'll let you roll that. Yeah, you can reroll oh. your strength one. All those ones. You have skill to re-roll it, though. All right. You may as well use your fortitude now. Oop, where'd it go? All right, three. And uh, get your free heroic three. Yep, get your free heroic three. And do you want to take this? Yeah, here we're probably going to need... We might need flank with that one. So the double strike is probably going to be what we use there. Uh, with that, you may as well drop that in, sure. All right, we need to cover the armor box, so we could use flank to get your strength five up, your strength three up to strength five. Sure. I think that makes sense. Then we have the heroic for flexibility. All right, so... And throw your magics in, because they are best at what they do. So I just need a three in there. So, yeah, May as well put a rogue three in there. That. And then, yeah, then we're pretty good. Just six and six on the twelves. Actually, well, we might change it, but do that. Then that's ten, exactly ten for that. Yeah, I guess the question is, is is there a way, if we do like five and three in order to get, oh, no, we don't have a five. Um. But wait, if we can do... Yeah, you could put a six into that other into the magic box and then move 
like so then there's fewer dice in that box right you want to be less than three less than four right is that the, the cutoff i yes. can't remember if there's if it has more than, more three. than three yeah so take the four and three out of there and then we drop a time oh, oh the, the, four, the four can't come out four can't come out but we can take a magic three out now and then do something else with it Oh yeah, because we could do this. Okay, so yeah, the, the, the trick is I'm trying to find a way to cover this five, and I don't think there is a way. I mean, you could put a six on it, but then I don't think we have enough dice to cover the other thing. So just make another her. I'm fine to take the two time. We're gonna take the two time. So just make a heroic three, and that's yeah, it. It's not gonna work. Yeah. That's pretty two time. I'm happy with. Yeah, that, that'll work. Great. Math! This is Sparky Wolf, yep. <laughs> All right, uh, Hunter, you want this? Yeah, probably Hunter, because we're gonna want Rogue to be taking more strength. All right, I'm going At least to... having two strength dice, you'll get a reroll on them, whereas the Hunter doesn't have a reroll on his strength, so. This poison, All it's right, a, so see. we need to, well, we could consider our potion, but you just clicked it without talking it's about only, it. That's it's only fine. a two. We, we did it, so yeah. take the one off of me, I think. Yeah. 50% chance. I like those odds. Well, maybe three or higher, so like 67%, I guess, so. Shadow Stalker, spend hey. time for each six. And we get another health item. And, a and the, the skill is really good. We don't really have a good, like, other really expensive skill to go with it yet, though. Yeah. Uh, I like the item. I think we can take this. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can cover one of those. Like, I could use my opening shot and cover one of the armors, right? Like, and then we'll, like, be able to use a heroic die for sure, so. Nice. And we'll let you roll this. All right. Only one, one. Take that. Come on, six. Nope. Yeah, you got a magic four, so that's perfect. All right, yeah, so magic four can go and there. Grab your heroic three. And grab that. All right. Uh, cool, so we didn't get any sixes, so we're gonna have to decide like which. Oh, we got one six. Yeah, we got so six. So cover the, the six. With the poison. Straight, yeah. And. Yeah, we're gonna have to make some harder decisions because uh, we do we do have a so yeah so I can flank right to increase one of your fives into a six. True. It's gonna help. Um, so you you can just go ahead and make a heroic five with your agilities. I think we're not gonna. Well, I guess I mean we could use them for something else maybe, but it's not gonna matter. Yeah, I mean, this will get that if we needed to, but actually we could do this here and like two plus six, so that's eight. So with the, with my three, we've got that 10 covered. Yeah, I would just cover the magic five and the strength four and take the health and cover the 10 bucks, obviously, too. So you're saying like this and this? Sure. And then, and then just throw make other dice and throw them in there. Like, we can't cover all of the high boxes, just like some of them. Like, we're going to be missing one. We just don't have enough sixes, and we can't make... We couldn't make enough sixes, or, like, in either enough sixes or enough fives, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to see... We have to pick one that we... We could choose the poison one, I guess, um, to, to, like, if you want... Like, there's one that has poison and time that we could use flank to make another six and not that, but... And I think a poison in a time might be worse than a heart. I yeah. don't know if it is, though. Maybe the chat has an idea. Just roll your best dying. Roll, just roll all sixes. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out if there's a mathy thing where, like, if we do... Oh, my alarm's going off. That means it's time to give away a free copy of One Deck Dungeon, so we're going to take a break. And how should we give away a copy of One Deck Dungeon, John? Should we ask have someone? Trivia? Send us a video of them rolling three sixes in a row. <laughs> All 
All right. We don't actually have a ton of people watching, so I will, um, let's see. Oh, what's a good way to do this? Um, let me, let me load the things while I have the code. Uh, streaming. All right, so the winner of this free copy of One Deck Dungeon is going to be the first person who tells us which one deck dungeon character I cosplay as at the last Gen Con. So, chat, there you have it. Whoever can guess which of the one deck dungeon characters I cosplayed as at the most recent Gen Con last year will win a free copy and you get to pick which platform. So if you already own it and you want to give it to a friend of yours, you can tell us if you want it on Google or if you want it on iOS. Those are the choices. We have a Kaliana, right. we have a Fanatic. Nobody has the right answer yet. All right, so I'm gonna end this encounter while we're waiting for that. Do you want me to tell you why we can't cover that six? Tell I me. mean, we can, but we have to like. We have to do so something we, else. We don't have any. If we had a four, that could just increase it by two, but we don't, and we don't have another five. So like, we only have the dice that are on there, like in the main area right now. Like we only have exactly five dice that we could potentially yeah. use and we like would just have to move one from where it is to another place. Yeah, no, no, I hear you. <laughs> so there's no way to cover. Alright, I will the rogue will take this yeah, since I have one rogue. extra health. Whether or not it's better to take a poison at time versus a heart is a question for Chris and maybe Chris would say different. I want to see Jeremy cosplay as a heroic die. Alright, <laughs> people, there's literally only like 13 possible choices, so... All right, this, keep guessing. This can go, I think, probably to the hunter, then we're even on health. Yeah, the item? Yeah. Oh. We're bad at guessing, says Take Walker. It's definitely, it's not Kaliana, it's not Fanatic, and it's not the hunter's wolf. I think we'll still not go to the wisp. <laughs> Citizen! It was the rogue, but... The trick question here was that I was actually not cosplaying as the rogue. I was cosplaying as guys, and guys was cosplaying as the rogue. Um. So yes, all right, Citizen, uh, do you want uh, an iOS code or a Google Play code? Whoa. I think we should run through this bramble field. Wow. Cosplayception, exactly right. Hang on, I'm waiting to hear. iOS, please. All right, let me get you an iOS code. I guess nobody's been giving these out. All right, so let's grab this. All right, I'm gonna whisper it to you, Citizen. Boom, there you go. Careless whispers. <laughs> All right, first giveaway completed. All right, so what do you say? You want to run through this? Oh, yeah, run we could through, definitely yeah. run through this. It's easy for us to run through. We actually also have a bunch of skills. I don't think we need to use yeah, it. Yeah, skip them. Uh, and I should probably roll be, it, right? Uh, well, no, Hunter has... You can let me reroll once, right? Oh, right, those are, like, I let you do that, right? I always forget about how it works in two-player. I feel like we're probably going to get enough just from rolling, though, so... Yeah. Like, it's almost... Actually, after my roll, it's almost impossible not to, <laughs> mathematically. It is impossible, because I'm rolling more than, like, more than three dice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Congratulations, Citizen, the winner of the first giveaway tonight. Hey, Siri, set a timer for 25 minutes. All right. That skill is all right. Um, it'll be better later if we have more dice. And it will give us a chance to have another magic, which we are really lacking on. So I'd probably take this skill and give it to the hunter here because yeah, I'm on she board. does have two dice, two strength dice to roll, and she makes more with and double strength. And she can strike. make more, exactly. Yep. So I think that's decent. All right, so we're at five time remaining on this floor. <laughs> the trickster. <laughs> oh, I like this. I feel like we could take this pretty easily. I mean, there's a lot of armor. But... Uh, yeah, it gives us a magic for the rogue, so let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, right. Before one encounter, convert one poison to a... Oof. Well, that's yeah. great, but it is what it is. All right. Um, enemy three. 
So what do you think? Opening shot on that four magic or? Uh, yeah. How much time we have left? So there's this is the last door, or was there one more? Remember? Uh, I think. Yeah, we would have to explore it again to get more doors. So if we explore again, there's no time left. So basically, it's like if we use if we even if we explore again, we'll have no time left. So if we spend any time, so probably this is our last door, and maybe we'll go into the whisk if we want. So we may as well spend time. So. I would do that and put it on the armor box. And for yours, it's up to you. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, I'm looking. One, two, three. Yeah, and we'll and lose all that three. time. You already have three damage. Yeah, so. we're going to skip it. And give that to me. Hunter. Terrible. I would like to have gotten a magic gotcha. six, but we can do. We could, we could, we could boost it if we needed to. Yeah, let's throw that heroic one into double strike, and don't forget your free heroic three. And so we can cover all those armor boxes with twos and threes. And may as well cover the five there. Yeah, so uh, we I can, can do this. We got this, this, and this, yeah. and this, and then we just use your flank, flank. to increase your magic. Four. My flank is really. You thought you were a trickster, Kismet, but you're not. Hmm. Boom. Look at that. No consequences. All right. Yeah, and we're going to. To the rogue, and then we can actually face the wisp now. Now that we have access to four magic dice, I think we should be able to do it. And definitely opening shot on like the worst one, like the two poison one, I think. And you could do this if you're willing to risk the health. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many boxes on the table. I mean, they're low boxes, but still. Oh, awesome. well, you got a two. Yep. All right, we need two. We need two, so that's <laughs> good. And we'll let you roll yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to roll that. Oof, well, not great. Oh, but that's pretty good. <laughs> Holy cow, that's, like, super good. All right, so this could probably go... Well, we could do that if we needed to. Let's let's just see here. So I yeah, take my... You may as well just, well, okay, yeah. Uh, we didn't actually roll many twos, it's funny. I know. Get your free heroic three and yeah. use that. And cover like the magic threes with those. Um, yeah, I mean, may as well just take my lowest agility dice and put them on the boxes. Yeah. yeah I mean, uh, we only need. Yeah, the thing is, we you don't need to use all of those on the ten box because we got other stuff. Yeah, so like, like we, we can, can literally do this. I guess you can just cover everything. Yeah, you I may mean... as well just. Cover everything. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, you don't need to do anything. We don't have to. We don't have to be fancy. Yeah, we, yeah. We'll, we you know we'll just go ahead and burn a six and a four to get a two. Why not? You could just put the four on that. Oh, what did I do? You can. You've done this again. You have the exact die you need, and you make a heroic for, for no reason. It's not for no it's reason, John. It's four. to rub it in. It's to show that Wisp sure. who's boss. All right. Wasting time. <laughs> All right. Um. What do we think? Um. I mean, may as well take. We don't. I think want the item. And the skill is like not great, but like it doesn't hurt, so why not put it on the rogue? Yeah, put it on the rogue because the rogue has the magic to do it. Like you may as well take it and then replace it later, and you get use out of it. So, all right, and we descend. Taking the two XP is just like you're gonna get the XP later. Like there's no point. Yeah, taking exactly. It. All right, so let's explore and see what we can find. Yeah, heroic dice are cooler than regular dice anyway. Exactly, Citizen. <laughs> Citizen knows what's up. All right, we got some poison cloud mushrooms here. Um. Yeah, we're pretty good yeah, with crawl can, under. Yeah, we can Spark is actually not bad for the rogue to take to get a better magic die. 
generally, so. Um, yeah, we have seven. I feel plus like heroic. Plus so heroic. Eight dice. We're pretty good. If we want, we could try put like one in the armor box. That would be the only thing I would do if we wanted. And it's a, yeah, it's a four, so it would cover the three. Yeah, we're skipping it. Okay. Executive decision. Boom. And you roll boom. sixes. So good. Oh, and yeah, I roll all fives. We, we so got this. All right. <laughs> like so. I have the whole thing. You don't even need to use your dice. <laughs> boom, boom, and boom. All right. So you're thinking take spark for the rogue? Yeah, I'd put that on the rogue so you can, like, basically improve a magic die. And that works in perils, too. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A moss golem. Thick armor. Add two time to the consequences for each heroic on this card. This is like a perfect encounter for us. Like, this is exactly the balance of dice that we have. <laughs> nice. Uh, We're both in our yeah, item limit. Skill... We could swap one out to get a health one, so... Yeah. yeah you have... Or swap a balanced attack, like, or just take it, like... Oh, yeah, true. Double strike into devastate is super good, so... Basically, one strength die for devastate with that. So, uh, I guess the only question here is are we going to have enough strength to cover everything? Yeah. Uh, we're pretty good on agility. So, like, if I was going to do it, I might like put it into the strength armor box, but I don't know if that's really necessary. Right, well, you're well, going to roll that. I'm going to go ahead and take a damage in some time because that's what I like to do. So now you can decide what you want to do now that you know that I'm one away Great. from dying. Uh, uh, good. It doesn't always work. Let's do that. Let's do it and put it in the strength. I'm a loose Arm box. What can I say? A super great roll, but at least I got a six to cover that magic six. All right. So let me grab my three. You can re-roll your strength one. Uh, yep. Into a two. One better. It is one uh, better. I can yeah, adept is pretty decent. With these two ones. I guess, I mean, you may as well try for Spark. Because Spark's going to be at least a three, right? So, like, it could be really good, or it could be That's true. less good. So what would you do? You do these two for that? Yeah. Okay. And then you can decide to use that up later. Yeah, but that's a six. So that's nice. Uh, potentially for heroic, instead of using adept, so... Uh, so I would put that one strength one that I have into double strike. And then we'll see where we're at here. So like that might be enough that we don't have to use balance attack. Like let's try seeing what, cause balance attack rolls. So let's see like what we can do without it. Like you should be able to cover the agility armor and like most of the boxes just like straight up. Yeah, like we don't want to put heroic dice if we can avoid it because there's extra consequences. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Um, but like, you can see we have enough to cover that 10, like, already, right? We have like six, nine, yeah, and you can make heroics. Like, we can easily cover the 10. We can use balance of attack to. So take my agility mark, if flank, but flank, yeah can't get us an agility die that's big enough. And we're not overpaying for anything on agility, are we? No. Like, we could use a four. Could increase a four agility to a six. So what you're saying is we could do like this. Basically, all we're trying to do is figure out how to cover this five. Oh, yeah. Take, take four agility. Sorry, you're breaking up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you're going to need to take the dice back. Remove dice. Oh, yeah, okay. So, 
take the agility two and increase the agility four on your side. And now cover all the boxes. Oh, I gotta do this first. So, um, this, this, this. Right, so instead of covering the agility, oh yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Right. Okay. So we're so we're back to this where we're we all we have to do is cover this five, and so. Right. I think so. We can use either adept or balance attack to do that. So let's try using adept. Right. Like. You may as well. Well, don't throw the six in. Yeah. But Maybe throw uh, make a make a heroic two there and yeah. throw that in. Because the, if you get a four, then that's good enough. Or sorry, a five. Actually, a four is what we probably need. Uh, discard the strength. Yeah, and then you can just use this. Oh no, you can't. Um... Yeah, is that is there a six on like a four? Yeah, we put a six on a four. Don't put a six on a four. Put a six on something bigger. All right, so you mean like this and this? Yeah. Um, I guess we do need to use, try to use balance attack. So. Yeah, I don't yeah get the dice back. So use one of my threes. Use my strength threes. One of them and one heroic to roll those. Uh, we never we didn't roll what we needed. But actually, yeah, increasing the strength die might end up getting us a heroic out of all of that. So yeah, that's may as well do thinking. that. Yeah. All right. So. All right. So throw as many non-heroic dice on the main card as you can. That's the main thing. Right, okay, so well, we have to do that there. That has to go there, yeah. If there's heroic dice there, it's okay. It's just like, less good, that's all. No, that's, oh wait, I guess you, oh no, because we want to avoid this, we want to avoid having this heroic on there. Um, yeah. Ah. This is gonna go there. The four is gonna go there, and we're trying to get something like this. Yeah, that and the two. That's fine. And then cover things and. Yeah, I guess no. Yeah, we can. We can. Yeah, we can make a heroic five. Right. But okay. Also, can we also cover the ten? I think. That's the question. Yeah, because we can do. Th oh, no, we can't. Wait. No, you move. You already put the put the five over there. See if you can cover the ten before putting the five there. Nope, we're one short. <laughs> All right, just put the five on there, and we'll take the one health one time. That's fine. I think there might have been a way out of that, but I don't think we had it. I think we didn't roll well enough. Ugh, I screwed this all up again. All right. Just you didn't screw anything up. Just cover the ten. We can't do. We can't do both. Actually, I guess covering the five is better. But the problem is, yeah, actually covering the five is better. But we don't. It will be a heroic die, so it's going to cost even more time. So I guess that's probably better than taking health, though. So sure, leave the ten bucks open and cover the the five with the health. That's better than taking damage, right? Like, make a heroic five now, and cover the four, and call it a day. And we're gonna be, we'll be like, one short on the 10, so I'm uh, not gonna make yeah. <laughs> We'll be at nine. All right. It is what it is, and we our potion doesn't help us, so. <laughs> it's not living your best life, it's staying alive, yep. All right, give this to the hunter. All right, so maybe swap out the strength on the road. I don't think swapping out the strength is a good idea. Okay. 
I think we want the item. We don't want to swap those items out. Um, we could give Devastate to the Hunter, I think. And we'll just keep giving her more strength dice now. Alright. Oof, another good item. Another Shadow Stalker. That one's good. More magic. And we're getting to the time where we need to get XP, so... Um, yeah, what does follow-up do again? Is it just like change the die to a 5 and 1 to a Increase 6? Increase 1 to a 5 and another to a 6. Super Spend good. one time. Um, I think we, sh we can take it. Alright, cover one of the magics? Yeah, cover a magic. After this, we'll be good on magic, though. Alright, I am not going to take the Daring Gamble because I'm one away from dying, so... Hey, we didn't roll any sixes. Oh no, we rolled one six. One six. Alright, not bad. <laughs> that's, that's probably going to go there. This can go there. Six, we need it. This can go there. Yeah, I think you can cover the obvious boxes, like, that match up exactly, mostly. Um. Alright, so we could use this two to turn this into a six. Yep, that's oh, a good and idea. I need, and I, for, I also may need well, my this. May as well just do that. And then, yeah, just do that and then just cover the 10. Like, there's enough dice to just cover the 10, so. Nice. Easy, Shadow Stalker. Take Easy that. Easy peasy. So here, yeah, you could replace your magic too, right? And yep. Just like, I get a plus one of whatever, plus, it's not a plus one staff, it's a plus two staff. And slowly level up. All right, Vortex Stone. So which one we take here is going to determine which loot we can get. Um, mm -hmm. Ew, invulnerability. Do we have any regular strength items or only? Uh, the rogue does, yes. Yeah, so we could try to swap that out, but... That's a big, um, that's, that's a big ask right there. 12, 3, and 5 on magic. Yeah, that's a ton. Yeah, on only three dice. Like the... We should just do the potion one, and then we get to heal one for taking for getting a potion. Yeah. If we take the potion, we might just take the XP, so... Probably yeah, it would take the true. XP, it's four actually. XP. That's actually really solid. Um, I think I... spend time the arm, armor box, just to be sure. Yeah, I agree. And I'm not going to do mine. And this one's for me, yeah. Well, I mean, I do have ingenuity. Yeah, but you're already rolling like three dice. Okay, yeah, that's fair. All right. Uh, hope you roll good. Okay, excellent. Hey, right, you can use ingenuity if you want for no reason. <laughs> there we go. Twenty-one. Oh, you could have had a twenty-two. I could have had 22. <laughs> and right. we spent extra time because you put too many dice in the box. Oh! Why don't you do and don't do that? <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, you get, what is it? You get one for each one that's over. Yeah, put sixes on there. there go. Perfect. All yeah, right. let's take the XP, I think. Sure. The potion is fine, but it doesn't work on the boss. I mean, the potion we started with doesn't work in the boss either. <laughs> we probably need to find some other potion that's more useful, but... All right, we got an ice Leveling. room. Leveling up one is gonna be more useful. Yeah, here we could take the item and, or actually taking the skill, that's a way better like magic skill than the ones that you have. Yeah, swap out the um, like spark and then- Replacing you... adept, like using adept or something like that. It's gonna like replace adept with Fireball. And we'll level up, so... Yeah. I think we can yeah, take this. Yeah, this looks like we can do it. No heroic feat, but that's okay. 
Yeah, I'm not worried at all about like magic sixes because of your spark is super good. And flank, of course. Solid roll. All right, so first things first, we don't have a four, but we do have a five, so we can put that there. I'll grab my three. Um, we can, yeah, we could potentially do the six. I mean, this and this could cover that ten, and then we don't have to worry about it. We got the three that can go there. We got a three that can go there. One five. Yeah, you could use some of your dice to put into spark. And they're high. I'm losing ya. You could put in like your heroic three into the spark. There you go. There's your six. Awesome. All right, so we're pretty close. We're exactly there. Yeah. There's the three you just have in no man's land that you can just put on it. Like, you put it on the mushroom instead of on the box. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with me moving my dice around. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Uh, yeah, we're done. All right, so which one do we get rid of, Spark or Adept? I think at Adept, probably. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, when you're not hurting for strength and agility as much, and this gives us, like, an, a strength five, which is super good. And we level up. Uh, heal Rogue, heal yeah. Heal Rogue, yes. All right, we have two time left, so let's pick another door. Let's see what we got. Oh, another trickster. Ooh, there's a potion. That's fine, we don't have poison. Yeah, that poison, what does it do? Roll a strength and just get a strength three. That's actually really good for us, so we might want to think about taking that. Also, just taking a strength die is maybe better. <laughs> actually, strength, just taking a strength die is better, so we'll just do that for the hunter, probably. Uh, I don't know if we need to use rogue feats here, like, probably yeah. okay. All right. I mean, well, actually, if the thing is, we're not going to open another door, right? Like, yeah. I guess we could. We would spend two time at the start of the turn and open one more door. So if we don't spend any time in the encounter, actually spending one time is okay, though, right? Like, I would say use mine, but not yours. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So uh, put it on the magic or on the yeah. Mm, actually, yeah, probably put it on the magic. Yeah, put it. Oh, either the magic or the big ten bucks. Oh so. yeah, that's probably better. Like we're very likely to get a magic four at this point, though. So. Like you rolled two fives, so. That's some good rolling right there. Okay, so... Yeah, so you can get your free three. You can actually... You can take one of those magic fives and just, like, get a magic five and a strength five. Yep. That's good. Um, this... Put that there for now. That's probably going to go there. Yeah, you can use my one strength with double strike to get a bunch of little oh yes I like that. to cover those yeah and just cover that put the five. Oh wait we don't uh, have that four wait. yet so we'll cover that with yeah. this and that can go there yeah then, then you can, can flank there. up the magic to so we can do this and this and then we can just use this to do this yep Probably didn't use her need to use her heroic feet, but didn't hurt. Man, we are time is just flying by. It's time to give away another copy of One Deck Dungeon. So while you all contemplate which of these loots we should take, I'm going to contemplate how to do this. Alright, so Whoever guesses which loot we take. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Um the last one was cosplay. Alright, so the first person who can tell me the first character that Krista cosplayed as, as mm -hmm. a 
Candelabra employee because she actually cosplayed a bunch before. So um, I know the answer. Can I win a code? <laughs> you can, I guess. <laughs> so um, at any convention, so in the public, what is the first character that Krista cosplayed as as a employee of Candelabra Games? Oh, no, I'm not sure. I know two early ones, but I'm not sure which is the first. Oh, shoot. Yeah, now I'm not 100% sure. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know which one was the first. I know. Well, I know the three. There are three that I can think of. You and first, I can discuss which one we think First character first. in general, Take Walker. And it's not going to be one deck dungeon. Yeah. Yeah, shoot. Now I have to think. Like, all right, wait. Yeah, it, check the web page. <laughs> Gen Con. Was it Gen Con the year that I had to leave? Or was PAX, was it PAX East before that? Sparky Wolf says bottom line Tachyon. Take Rock says Unity. Valerie says Night Mist. Okay. So... Yeah, hmm. I was thinking Super Scientific Tachyon, but I don't know if that's right. See, that's what I was thinking. I think that was the first one that she did. Hey, so where are you? She's yeah. listening on the Night YouTube. Mist, she definitely did a Night Mist, but that was definitely not the first. That was the year that I did Luminary at um, at PAX East. And maybe I win the code. Because <laughs> no one guessed that. <laughs> yeah, Bottom of the Night Tachyon was also at a Gen Con, but it was not... You know oh, I, I think you know what? No, no, no. I, I think I think Sparky Wolf is right. I think bottom of the night tachyon was her first tachyon because she did do a super scientific tachyon, but I think it was after that because she started at Handelabra like a month before Gen Con, and then she went to her first Gen Con. I'm looking at the cosplay page. Okay. Uh, yeah, she is the rogue, or sorry, uh, she is a one deck dungeon character, not the rogue, in 2018. And I'm, I'm texting her. We okay, had 2018 misinformation. 2017 Gen Con, bottom of the ninth Tachyon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is that the first one? Yeah, because she started summer 2017, so I think that would have been the first one because it was in support of that. First ODD character or character in general? Yeah, first character she did at a public convention as a member of the Handle Up team. And I think it was Bottom of the Night Tachyon, so I'm pretty sure it's Sparky Wolf. Yeah, in PAX East 2017, she did Night Mist. So, Bottom of the Night Tachyon is the right answer, I believe. Wait, if she did that at PAX East, PAX East is before Gen Con. Oh, it was PAX East before Gen Con. Oh, right, right, right. So, oh wait, no, but maybe, the, yeah, Krista as Night Mist, it says at PAX East 2017. So maybe Night Mist is the first. I don't see the super scientific tachyon on here. Actually, no, that's, yeah, that's a different super scientific tachyon. So you did that, right? Like, I don't know when that was though. Yeah. If only we were more prepared for our quiz. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> no code for you guys. Right now I'm thinking that it's Sparky Wolf. I've, I've texted Krista to ask her what the first one she does. But hang on, let me, let me text her, like text her, text her instead of um, do it on Black. the thing. What was the first cosplay you did as a member of the Handelabra team? Question mark. All right, let's see if she responds to that. All right, stay tuned. We know who answered what. Sparky Wolf did Bottom of the Ninth Tachyon, and the first person to guess Night Mist was Balooey. So once we have an answer, we will know. But let's go back to this. Are we taking this potion? I mean, it's, I mean, it's clear Pax East is before. So the earliest we know of is Night Mist Pax East 2017, right? Like, yeah, because the bottom of the ninth one was Gen Con, which is later. But she did so. like, uh, but again, I have to point out that she started with the company like a month before a Gen Con and then she was at a Gen Con. So the previous Gen Con. So the question is, is did she do a cosplay at Gen Con 2016? Because I were we, we must have been streaming. So the, there's a different. Yeah, it was two years ago that we did the live stream where she did bottom of the ninth Tachyon. 
That was two years ago, so that would be 2017. The group shot. Is she in the group shot? No. Last year, Gen Con, 2018, she did Misinformation. So the question was, was it three years ago that she did Super Scientific Tachyon at Gen Con? And I think it's possible that it might have been. In which case... I win. <laughs> <laughs> but the first actual person who guessed that wasn't spoiled was Baluie then. Baluie. Was it Baluie? Okay. <laughs> like, who actually guessed one that was... The earliest that got guessed was me. <laughs> Krista is fighting out Alien Robot with land. Don't we have a bunch of pictures on Dropbox? We do, but I just moved all my Dropbox stuff around, so it's all not where it needs to be. All right, am we taking the potion or the item, or what are we doing? Uh, okay. I think... I think basically, the potion is like, get more strength, but the item is like, you just always have more strength. Why don't we look at the boss? All right, let's take a look at the boss. The boss is pretty even mix of things we need, but like less agility and strength than the most magic. So like strength is middling. And we're pretty middling in strength right now and pretty weak on magic. So we're kind of, our strength right now is like the opposite of the boss. So I think the nice thing about the potion is that it actually gives us like a potion that we can use in the yeah. boss fight. So, normally I would take the item, but I think let's take the potion so that we have a potion we can actually make use of, sure. as opposed to just getting one health, which is really a crappy deal. Uh, and Rogue can heal here. Right. And descend, right? Uh, yeah, otherwise we take a start of... Oh, wait, are we... Start of turn? Go back. Just go back and see if we... Yeah. Stay on floor, because we just took the start of turn, so we can look at one more door. We can look at one more door, yeah. Okay. So, basically, do we want to climb up for a damage or fly over? <laughs> That's a really good item and a really good skill. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Change the color of one challenge box. The skill, like, changes the boss to be, like... The thing that you're not good at becomes the thing you're good at. <laughs> like suddenly that magic, big magic box is agility instead. Uh, fly over, it's interesting. So we have a lot of skills that can be used in perils now. Yeah. Like, at least, well, we have spark, which is the most important one. But, yeah, I mean, this could be rough. Like, we, with the armor boxes on the dungeon, like, that's bad. <laughs> I don't know if, so doing it whether, okay, fine, teamwork. Yep. And I roll a one! If we lose this game, it's not my fault because Jeremy's doing stuff without consulting me. Yep. I definitely would not have used during game. Gamble. And I also would have thought more about which peril option to choose. John loves it when I go rogue like this and just do whatever I want. It's like his favorite right thing. You can right literally, you can literally hear him seething through through the thing right now. That is totally a thing that's happening. That is a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so let's do. You have to try for spark. Yep. And get a six and still not have enough. Oh. Like, literally can't have gotten enough. It's not possible to have had enough to cover the 14. Like, if we had sat and looked at this box and see, like, what's the physical chance of actually getting it, it's very low. It seems like we could have done it. John is so mad right now. That's why he's so quiet. It's like, I can't believe that he just did that. I'm going to drink my gross drink. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm bad. Sometimes I do stupid shit. Stuff. I do stupid stuff. Sorry. Like taking the XP here? 
Yeah, exactly. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, so I think like doing the strength side would have been better, even though it was guaranteed for us to like take a damage, most likely. Yeah. Five and five to six. Uh, yeah, I give that to the rogue. We need more magic for sure. If we're taking the item. Chris is not getting back to me, so I'm gonna make an executive decision and say that it was. Who did I say? It was, so it's between, it's between Sparky Wolf and Baluie, and I think it's Baluie probably. Yeah, it's definitely like not the bottom of the ninth one because that yeah. was clearly after Pax East. So. All right, Baluie, do you want iOS or Android? I whispered. If someone can post a picture of Krista cosplaying Super Scientific Tachyon, then I win it instead. So make sure to get on that. The, oh, the downpour is stopping in Cleveland, Ohio. I've just gotten a notification on my thing, so. I feel like that was the, I, I remember the Super Scientific Tachyon one the most because that was like, oh, Krista's cosplaying. Like, I didn't know she was going to do that. And that was like super scientific tachyon. Yeah. All right, we could use the potion here. Um, Which will let one of us heal for one. Yeah, like we get, we A, Omnax of Seed and, um, and get a heal. So let's do that. All right, hang on, I gotta send this code. All right. Oop, no, I don't wanna open pages. What the heck, Mac? Boom. All right, Baluie has received their code. Let me the true meaning one. of giftness. There we go. All right. Let's do that and heal your stupid rogue. Yep, she is so stupid. And poison can come off the hunter? Sure. Sure. Oh. Uh, oh, yes. and take off health. Yeah. Yeah. Subtract one from each resist poison roll, which is good, because that's why we have this potion. <laughs> so we don't have to roll. Ooh, another magic. Ooh, ignore all... But also... Yeah, that's a good potion. Does the, does the boss have armor, though? That's the most important question. And I don't think it does, in, so that means this it is less not, important. Yeah, less important. If, if we've gotten this on the first that, floor, maybe, but... Yeah, this is going to be really tough for us, because there's so many magic boxes. Like, we could do it, but I don't think the rewards are worth it. So I would maybe come back later, yeah. but... Again, that wisp. Ooh, we got a rope bridge. Ooh, I feel like we could sprint across this pretty easily and get that luck potion. Yes, sprint across should be pretty good. Uh, we do have the two armor boxes, so we might want to, like, hedge our bets and use opening shot on one of them. Yeah, I'm not going to daring gamble. As long as we roll a five, hopefully two. Well, there's one. Yep. Yeah! No. We got this. Boom. Boom. And this is all set. And don't put extra dice in for fun. Yeah, that potion is only... Like, that's a bad potion. Let's take the item. And the give heart. it to the hunter, I guess. Yeah. We'll probably swap it out, but may as well have it. We're rolling the maximum number of agility dice now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, stone skin. That's nice. Is that one against the boss, two, or two against the boss? Just one against, okay. Dodge is so good. Two against the boss, like, so ridiculous. All right, so there's four armor uh, boxes on this one. We do have to spend yeah, one Yeah, I time. would take this and swap out that agility for a strength, like, that we just picked up. So, I think we can fight this. All right. We can. Opening shot on like the four strength, maybe. Oh, did 
lose John? Oh, I did lose John. All right, we're gonna hang out while we wait for John to come back. His internet is being funky. Oh, John ended the call. I know he didn't. Let's see if we can get him back. He's still green. Yeah, my group P has left the room, yep. We'll see if we can get him back. <laughs> Press F to pay respects. Yeah, we definitely don't want me to be left to my own devices here. That is not gonna do well. Are you back? Hello? Hey, you're back. Yeah, you body and then we're gone. <laughs> yep, all right, let me bring this back. All right, can you see my thing? I see Jeremy's screen sharing. Awesome. Oh, actually, you know what? As long as this is a thing, I can do this again because Oh, weren't we supposed to be screen sharing on S Skype? Oh, yes, you're right. You could turn off the Slack one. That's my mistake. Okay. Uh, where's Skype? Oh. I see it on I see it on Skype. Oh, it's, it's already like, shared? Okay. Skype was just like fine. We could have just turned the audio on on Skype probably. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah. All right, so we were here trying to decide if we were going to like opening shot this for or what the situation is. Yeah, I think we should opening shot um, probably one of the strength boxes because we actually have like more magic than strength right now. So yeah, I figured the four because it's a four, and I am not going to daring gamble. I learned my lesson the last time. So much agility. All right, interesting. So. Grab my, oops, oh, grab this. Yeah, and I can't actually use, well, hmm. All right, I'm gonna let you tell me what we think. I assume we should double strike with this one, right? Sure, that can't hurt. And we can do this. Uh. Yeah, I guess the question is, balance, balance attack is super strong. Um, I mean, devastate is devastate is more strong. Yeah, right? because devastate, devastate is, yeah. It's six and like, it's super, super good. It does cost a time though, so you have to think about using it. Um, you could use spark, because that magic three isn't doing anything. Yeah, that's what I was thinking is like, we're not gonna be able to use that for anything. But then I was yeah. like, well, what about this fireball? But, but I you can, can use, use five. Spark and then you get, yeah, maybe you get something else. So, see what you get. Maybe you get a six. Oh, that'll do. And then you could put a magic five. Well, yeah, actually, don't, yeah, don't put a magic five. Uh, take, you want more magics, right? So, convert your agility twos into a rope. No, don't do that. I'm not I just doing, said, I'm just don't moving do that. everything away. I'm moving everything over here. That's all I'm doing. You can put lesser dice into fireball instead of putting a five in, right? So, like, put that heroic three and a uh, heroic two into it, and then you suddenly have like way better value. So now we can like cover all the magic boxes in the giddy split. And we can cover like everything else. Yeah, those skills that give you like guaranteed dice, are, especially fireball, because can be like, oh, I have like a bunch of ones and twos. I will get a five and a five. All right, so we and you put too many dice in that box. In so this one? yeah. We can... There we go, yep, okay. Good. Yeah, so we could take stone skin, save some damage coming in. Uh, my first inclination was to replace that agility that Hunter has with the 
strength item. Unless we want stone skin, I guess. But the the boss is like really needs magic, right? So we're probably not going to be wanting to like spend magic dice to prevent damage. We want to use the magic dice to cover boxes, right? So I think can like switching that item over on the hunter strength one is probably better because she has all these skills that use strength dice. So like swap out really... the one. That yeah, swap it. Out. Yeah, swap out the last one. And there's a chance we could level up. If we... Ooh, yeah. we could sprint there's across this pretty easy. Uh, yeah, sprint across. Seems good. Probably just for the XP. Actually, no, that skill... That skill is pretty great. It's not... I wouldn't call it pretty great. I mean, it's it's solid. It's a skill. It's a skill. Uh, yeah, opening shot, just to be sure, probably. Well, the thing is, like, if we're not rolling a three, like, we're probably not rolling a five. <laughs> but it does help, so may as well. Yeah. There's our fives. All right. We're good. Probably overcautious with the opening shot, but. All right, and give this to the hunter. I, er... Yeah, so barrage, you're like, that's a great skill. It's like you end up with the same amount of dice, right? It's not actually good. Mm. Like, you might roll better. If you're putting ones in, you are OK. But like, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get across the bridge. Wait, let me shoot first. Wait, what? <laughs> Thank you, New Dover. Uh, so, like, this is a case where, like, yes, you get a skill that you could use, but it's, like, not actually very useful. You have all the agility dice any of We don't, actually. We have seven now. Uh, we had eight before, but now we have seven. Um, like, the skill is oh, very, really just okay. Like, if you roll all ones, then, like, maybe yeah. you might not roll all ones again. But it's not that great. The question yeah. is like whether how much of a chance is if we take the two XP that we'll get six more XP by the end of the floor. With only twelve time left. Like I'd way rather have another heroic die than have this skill. <laughs> uh, I think it's actually a pretty decent chance we'd get like two, three XP things that we'd be willing to take, right? Alright, let's so, take the XP then. I take the XP. Skill is pretty underwhelming. Underwhelming. And we could use the antidote potion here or roll for it. We need a two because of the Yeah, there's an open thing. door. Um, I'd use the antidote. Yeah, and then maybe heal the hunter for one. Sure. For the heal, really, and getting some useful effect. So, because we're probably getting another potion token. If we're planning to level up, we'll get the potion token. So, yeah, there's a three XP. That's what we want. Uh, we could take the skill instead, but we can I mean, decide. or we could swap out the skill. I mean, are we going to use both devastate and balance attacks? You know what I mean? That's like... true. We're probably not using both devastate and balance attack. Uh, yeah. So I think we can enter. Yeah. The question is, are we going to strike or are we going to evade? Uh, they definitely way easier for us. Yeah. So, I think that makes sense. And I would just skip. I think we should be okay. Like, if we're not rolling a three, we're screwed anyways, right? <laughs> if we roll ones and twos on this entire encounter, like... I'm sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> um, all right, hang on. You can let me reroll ones, right? So yeah, reroll your ones, and you can like increase your two to a three. Right, so give us everything we need, not quite. Well, use your ingenuity and increase it to the three. Yep. 
And then you can cover the side, well, at least cover the three and the five, and then see if we can cover the big box. Yeah, so like... The big box and the bad box. We can cover the big box. Wait, can we Don't do cover it? the little box, only the big this? box. No. Oh, I guess we can, for one time, okay. Just exactly. Yeah, sure. versus, yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's good. All right, so do you want to swap So here, out? if we take... Go ahead. If we take the XP, we can definitely level up. Um, what is the balance attack? Will that give us three XP if we swap it out? Or like swap an item or like, we have things that have three XP that we can swap it, right? Like, Devastate is four. Spark is three, I think. You can right click on them to see. Oh, this one's only two. Yeah. Like, we can definitely level up, and I think it's worth it for Heroic Die, because we're really short on magic, and that's the closest thing, so. I would take the XP. All right. That's fine. Precise Blow is, like, fine, but it's not helping us with the boss. <laughs> oh, we haven't seen the Goblin, Goblin yet. yet. It's only two. Oof. That's okay, because we can swap We can swap it for magic. Three, yeah, yeah, we can definitely swap for something we want, so actually really good. This is exactly what we want. So let's enter and we may as well use opening shot. Cover armor, right? Sure, cover the armor. I mean we're rolling enough of everything that Yeah, I, I mean we, yeah, this is pretty open, so I don't know, maybe the ten? Sure, put it on the ten. Yeah. And I'm gonna just get my hero feet. You roll this. Just pick the best choice, says Dover. Look at you rolling fours and fives. Perfect. Yep. And I roll sixes. All right, so this can go here. I think you got this, Jeremy. And this- Just win the game. Yep, this can probably go there. And I'm just gonna do a thing. And if, if, it, if it ends up that we're not at that thing, I won't click anything until we're done, so. Yeah, the only like, thing yeah, we need... You need, to, you need to do one thing. I need to, to do to one the... thing. <laughs> and what that one thing I'm going to do is this and this. And increase the three. No! <laughs> I did it! I figured it out! I'm going to get I'm gonna get a heroic just because. Yeah, get your free heroic, sure. <laughs> cool. All right. Boom. Yeah, and so to level up, we need to convert something that's three. And so what I would probably convert is the uh, strength item because yeah. we don't, don't need as much strength on the boss. We need more magic. I mean, it's nice for the hunter to have more strength for her skills. So if we might have a, there might be a better idea if there's one of our skills that we should convert instead for blitz. But yeah. She oh, was I muted? I guess I I don't know how did I get muted. Oh, no, wait. I I could hear you. Now I hear you double. Oh no! It's, Skype is like your microphone's muted. <laughs> And I was like, wait. <laughs> All right. Because there's two voice calls happening. It's confusing me. I'm going to put that other one down there. I can see it better. Yeah, I mean, I only have Spark and Fireball. I mean, converting Devastate is not bad because it does spend time, which, like, um, makes us exile a die against the boss, but like we could easily exile strength dice and not worry about it because we're never going to get eight strength dice. So I think that converting that strength item is the way to go. So basically, so for take the system. item for the hunter? Yeah, All right. I think so. Maybe that will bite us, we'll see. And we leveled up so we can heal the rogue, I guess. They're both. Oh wait, I guess the hunter, right? Yeah, the hunter's better here because the heroic has seven. However, how much health you have left is important. So, yeah, if three you heal the hunter, two. they'll both be three, three away from death. Yeah, which you want that to be even. And we also have the brawn potion to get more strength. So, uh, I think, can we? We can stay on the floor, right? And look at one more door, or go into the wisp. The wisp does have a, an item, but. 
I would look into the other door and see what's there. Alright. Ooh. Alright, if we try to Dodge, dodge we're gonna health. take a damage. Yep. And the potion is crap, and the XP is useless, so it's... Do we want another agility die for a health? I think the answer is no. So. Alright, here we go! The corrupted tree. Yes, the corrupted tree right, lives right. on the third floor, the the third sub basement of the dungeon. <laughs> That's where the corrupted tree lives. Behind that door marked to where the leopard. <laughs> exactly. All right. I think still Hunter rolling this makes sense. It's most people don't know that it takes exactly forty-two steps to go down all the way to the third sub basement. <laughs> all right. Um. Yes, yeah, so Hunter. Oh, right. We, oh, we have two. two now. Sure, we can each have one now. Yeah. Unless, like, yeah, that's fine. There you roll a six on that's it. That's not bad. Nice. All right. So, I'm going to take my planning. Right. May as well use Spark on that three. Three sixes on your magic roll. I know, roll. what is up? Oh, you got a three. Oh no, now it's a five. And that's so a five, which means fireball. I can turn it into a five and a five. If we we could also maybe get better out of it though, so. All right, like, I'll hold off. Think All right, so uh, you could probably one. just, yeah, go into double strike with the two. There's no reason not to do that. Yep. Yeah, and I guess see where we are and what we might need to do with the other skills, yes. I guess. This. Yeah, and I mean, this could pretty easily be something like that. Oh, wait, I did the math wrong. I guess that. No, that's not right. That's, I did the math wrong again. Um, yeah, you're going to want that six for the strength box. Yeah, I think we can pretty much cover everything with what's on the board here and then see what we need to increase or whatever with flying. Like you have nine strength and then a bunch of heroics, right? And just like cover everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can literally just cover everything. Oh, look at that. I mean, finish get, covering everything. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And I guess... I mean, or do your heroics in a different way so that you don't have to convert to heroics or whatever you want. There we go. Doesn't matter. I'm hitting him for more makes That's sense. That's everything, right? Like, I don't want to take a bunch of damage. Like, if you don't cover the skull boxes, then you take health damage, right? So it may as well take a poison instead. Yeah, okay. So yep, we're hit, good. Yeah, so that's good. Mm. Poison on the. It doesn't. Uh, the hunter. It doesn't matter. If we're both like three away from dying, yeah. right? So either one. And we could use our antidote potion here or not because we, the plus one isn't there, right? Anymore. So I feel fine with using it though. Yeah, and heal the rogue for one maybe. Sure, yeah. Use antidote. That's fine. Okay, so Krista just texted me back. She says, I think it was super scientific tacky on at my first Gen Con. I win. John wins. One. All right, and I guess we're going to do the thing where we each roll one here, right? Sure. Not bad. No well, sixes, I'll but... Just thanks for the newest patch. You're welcome. We're able to find some optimizations to speed it up in certain certain places where it's getting slowed down, and we fix that up. Get your free dice. You 
can convert one three into actually yeah double strike isn't totally obvious because we could end up rolling ones with bounce attack or something but it's probably still obvious to double strike may as well good roll of sparks three yeah. You got a five. You got a lot of fives. You can reroll your one. Hmm. Well, I wish you are rolling lots of fives. We can only flank once. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can cover the magic box and if we want. Um, and I guess you can um, I mean, probably you... make that use fireball with your final device because you can get it all day, so that's enough. You're getting all robot -y. Can you say that again? Yeah, use fireball. Use fireball. All right. All right, so that's... 16. I mean, I have that 18 box covered here, unless we want to increase one yeah, of them. Yeah, I mean, you have 18 exactly. And then uh, probably flanking your 5 to a 6 makes sense. And then for the other one, we could try for it with either, I mean, Devastate, we get it for sure, uh, and Exile a Die. Um, but we could try Bounce Attack first, because we have enough dice to pay for the yeah, Devastate. Yeah, that's right? true. All right, so, so let's two? try Bounce Attack and see if we get lucky first with the six. Yeah, these those two? two are fine. Okay. So we're going to get another strength out of it, so. Hey, we got lucky. Increase it to six. Perfect. All right. I will take the poison this time because I am less close to death. And we roll, you, you, well, why don't we just use the antidote? Then we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Use it on the hunter. We still have one potion left for Braun if we really need it. Nice roll. Wow. wow. I should go to the casino after this. All right, so this. So we only have to do one damage. And not die. And not die. But we have like eight health to spare. So you can almost cover everything just like yep. with what you yep. rolled. <laughs> this actually yeah with between that and free skills we have like almost everything covered there's like 12 you can do this the, and this yeah. and then this and then we're done <laughs> right yeah you could have just put your four in there you didn't need to use double strip oh yeah well, oh yeah what it is. Oh. it is what it is easy peasy And that's how you win the game. And you thought that I was mistaken when I did my craziness that I did. I mean, I was. You were. But I was a bad. <laughs> that was a bad, <laughs> bad, bad move. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. And let's grab some of these for the hunter. Good. Completion marks. <laughs> All right, so um, my timer went off, so we have to figure out how to give out another uh, copy of the game. Uh, what time is it? It is 8.39. All right, what else can be cosplay? Oh, here we go. Well, it's not a one-deck dungeon flavored, but that's okay. I will be back while you do the giveaway. What? 
Who or what did Jody cosplay as at Gen Con 2017? I think it was 2017. I think it was two years ago. First person to answer the question, and, and, and to be clear, Jody is the warehouse manager for Greater Than Games. Uh, who or what did she cosplay as at Gen Con 2017? First person to get the answer will get their choice of a free copy of One Dick Dungeon for iOS or Google Play. Yes, Take Walker, you should know this. All right, uh, do we wanna, I feel like playing another one of these uh, One Deck Dungeons is probably a bit much, but we could potentially do uh, a quick Sentinels game. All right, John walked away. I'm gonna launch Sentinels. Hopefully you're not hearing two different kinds of music. Select the thing. I'm the thing. I can almost picture her. Yes. You're gonna kick yourself when I tell you what the answer is. If someone doesn't get it. Can you all hear the Sentinels music? <laughs> Dual music. Now you should have single singular music. Singular music? There it goes. Yeah, I had two I had both of them running for a for a, a, a spell there. I'm not seeing a lot of guesses out there. Who did Jody cosplay as? I'm back. Just start guessing. You can figure it out, people. I launched uh, Sentinels. Figured okay. We could do a quick Sentinels game. So I can close the Skype call? You can close the Skype call. Ooh. Harpy. Nope, not the Harpy. Are you on beta or in... Oh, that's a good question. I am... I think I'm on production. Okay. You should go to beta then. All right, hang on. Hopefully this will switch pretty quickly. I'm Actually, I'm on internal. Is it, I don't, I'm not sure if internal is on the beta version it, or not. It just did not look like it. Fanatic Extreme. Nope, not Fanatic Extreme. Launching. What was the question? Uh, who did Jody cosplay as at Gen Con 2017? All right, you should be able to see us now, and you probably see all the beta buttons. Kismet, nope, not Kismet. You need to open your mind. You need to expand your concept of who and what could be cosplayed as. Because I'm telling you, it's a crazy, it's a crazy, crazy, crazy thing. All right, we're gonna keep this open. So the first person who guesses this will get the thing. JCC! That's right. All right, JCC, do you want a iOS code or an Android code? Because that is absolutely right. Jody cosplayed as Christopher Bedell. That was the best cosplay ever. It was the best cosplay. <laughs> she actually she did like the she actually like used a sharpie to like draw the tattoo that he has on his arm. It was amazing. And Christopher had no idea that was going to happen and was blown away. He was blown <laughs> away. It was so good. And I should be clear, I actually was not there for when that happened. Um I I knew that she was gonna do it because she told me about it ahead of time. I had to leave early that year because my father was sick. But um, I heard about it and I saw the pictures after the fact and I was as impressed 
as I was going to be. Yeah, she got the vest and everything. Uh, someone will find pictures of it. All right, so JCC, tell me if you want um, iOS or Android, and I will whisper your winnings to you. This looks like a good match. Yeah, look at this. This is a, a solid one. All right, so I've got Unity and, ooh, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I still don't know how to play Akash 3 very well. I'm gonna take Pro Ranger instead. Uh, and we're uh, Ambuscade at Mobile Defense Platform, and we're gonna do it. I have found you, my prey. Your time runs short. Au revoir. Systems online. Temporal calibration complete. Weapons powering up. All right, so we got uh, blade of coating reset. Self sabotage. Temporal shielding. Uh, construction pylon. Platform bop and a couple of raptors. Amplified combatant for the greater good. Prime punch and prototype. Uh, servo gauntlet and a couple of bounties. We got kill on sight, no execution, and then we got sudden contract and terrible tech strike. All right, Android, I guess. All right, hang on, let me get you your code while this is playing. There you go. Sent. Congrats. Give it to a friend, find a device for, for your own, enjoy it. All right, snatch and grab. And the skate has cloaked immediately. Of course. All right. Whew, I'm the Tron. Unity's best friend. Would you like me to play that or trash it? Or free card draw. Probably play it. Yeah, play it's fine. Oh, someone found it. Someone found an image. There's Jody. <laughs> I think I was there for that Gen Con. All right, I am definitely gonna do this. Yeah, the question is, am I going to do two raptors or a platform and a raptor? Probably a platform and a raptor. Alright, I assume we want to focus the cloaking device, right? We don't want to hit the yep. sonic mine. Cloak, cloak, cloak. I can kill the cloak. Yeah, I think I was planning to cosplay as Luminary for that Gen Con, because I had done Luminary at PAX East that year. Um, but then I was not there. Let's see, sudden contract. Search your deck for money. Um, or should I just terrible strike strike the automated turret? The yeah. turret is of no matter. Uh, I'm gonna get by any means on ambuscade. I mean, you can shoot the turret. Yeah, I'm going to shoot the turret here because I can't hit Ambuscade it. yet. But. Shield generator comes out. There's Ambuscade, I can see him now. Where was he? Oh, Unity can take this. Yeah, I avoided asking in any of our cosplay questions tonight who did I? Who have I cosplayed as? Because I think it's pretty obvious, and most people know in general. 
Although I'm not hoping, always. Not always. Although I am hoping to change it up this year at Gen Con a little bit. Uh, yeah. Destroy equipment for bots. Yeah, which one? I think they're all yours. Yep, take care of the component. Okay. Has John ever cosplayed? No. He has not. Ambuscade is going to get eaten by lots of raptor bots. Yep. Oh my Pretty goodness. good damage turn for Unity. Yeah, I'll take it. Like more than 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I would love to have my body be in a place where I could uh, cosplay as Haka and not have it be horribly un inappropriate. Mm -hmm. Someday, maybe. I've been playing a lot of Beat Saber, so I have been starting to get a little bit more uh, fitness happening. <sighs> Beat Saber is awesome, by the way, if anyone is interested in VR at all. It's basically like Guitar Hero, but with lightsabers, and it's pretty great. Poor Ambuscade. He's getting the beat down. Oh my goodness. He might goodness. not get another turn. I know, like, we need to make this our <laughs> fastest win ever. Like, this would be amazing. Oh, Ambuscade, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, you've got Eye on the Prize, Turbo Tech Strike, and your base power. If he's not dead, he's pretty close. Oh, oh yeah, he's dead now. On. He's gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't even get to use your base power. That, okay, seriously though, like that has to be a That's record. like. I mean, not yeah. counting like, you know, Wager Master <laughs> buggery. That has got to be one of our quickest wins ever on stream. I mean, that was literally. We started at 840 and you weren't even here until like 845. Also, he cloaked on the first turn, so it, we couldn't damage him until the next yeah. round. Like, we killed him over one round, right? Wow. <laughs> Man. Yeah, the misinformation fight. I played last time was like two hours. Whew. Like, I don't know, do we do we want to do another one even? Uh no. No? Alright. We're All almost right. at two hour mark. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that is that. Um remember there's still like twelve hours to get uh right, uh 16 hours to get uh, One Deck Dungeon at a discount on Steam. Still more than 24 hours to get a discount on mobile. So tell your friends. Um, the uh, the sale for One Deck Dungeon continues on mobile until midnight tomorrow night um, and until around 1 p.m. Eastern on Steam. Uh, and we're getting super, super close uh, to getting to a $6,000 donation to Code Liberation. I don't even know if we've mentioned it. Uh, you know, Nightbot's been posting about it, but Code Liberation, I mentioned it up top. But it's a great uh, nonprofit that we're working with. It is a coding school, uh, which is focused primarily on closing the gender gap in STEM and uh, code. So I highly recommend checking them out. If you want to donate on your own, we would highly support that. We're obviously going to be donating $1 for every copy sold. And as of this morning, we'd already sold 5,200 copies of One Deck Dungeon. So um, thank you, Citizen. Says congrats for all the success on Mobile One Deck Dungeon. Um, I think I said it at the top of the stream, but if anyone's just joining us since then, um, we had thought that we might sell 2,000, maybe 2,500 copies, and we've already more than doubled that. Uh, the, the number of people who are playing One Deck Dungeon who are new, literally one out of every seven, I want to say, copies of One Deck Dungeon that have ever been sold were sold this week, um, which is crazy to think about. But thank you so much for everybody coming out and supporting uh, Handle Upper Games, supporting One Deck Dungeon, supporting Cold Liberation. We really, really appreciate it. 
So thank you so much. Thank you for joining us for the live stream. Uh, we're back to business as usual tomorrow. Uh, no more crazy sales or anything, at least until, I don't know, the Steam Summer Sale, which is probably coming up. Um, that is a thing that happens every year. Uh, but that's going to do it for us. I think, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. This is Handelabra Live. Uh, we have all kinds of shows here on Handelabra, uh, on twitch.tv slash Handelabra Games. We've got uh, Dolphins Dive, which is on Thursdays or Fridays. We've got Tales from the Archive, which is on Sundays. Uh, on Deck has recently moved to Saturdays. They're usually on Mondays, but for the summer, they're going to be on Saturday evenings, so make sure you check that out. And always join us here on Handelabra Live at around 7 p.m. Eastern uh, on Tuesdays to see all of our new fun stuff. We've obviously been playing some Sentinels tonight. We've been playing some One Deck Dungeon. But our new game, yes, thank you, Ine? Liane? That makes it hard. Liane? Uh, and <laughs> End. That is our next game, which is getting ever so close to coming to early access. We'll have more information about that probably in the next few weeks. Um, you'll be able to play it yourself if you're not on the beta team. Um, and join us to see how that game is coming along. And then I think... We might have announced that the next game that we're making is one that people might have heard of. Uh, we haven't broken ground on it yet, but it's getting ever so close. Um, I'll let the people in the chat figure out which one that is. So that's it. I'm Jeremy. Uh, you can follow me, Mr. J Handel, M R J H A N D E L. You can follow John. That's my partner in crime here at Migrant P, spelled just the way that it sounds. Yep, Take Walker nailed it. Well done. <laughs> uh, and so yeah, I guess we'll see you next week. And tell your friends about One Deck Dungeon, because it's awesome. So Thanks good night, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. See ya.